Well, moving on now, we come to the Reading Step Grants Group. And uh, the Reading Step Grants Group is their official name, and they're, I think, throughout the world as the Reading Cloggies. Much of the Cloggies' work involves collecting and research into step dancing, and we're going to see four dancers from them tonight, which are the results of these efforts. All four dances come from the border regions, that's the Scots border, not the Welsh border. The costumes we see are based on the costumes of the bonded farm servants from that border region. The first three dances we're going to see are Morpeth Rant, country dance, still dance in Northumberland. The Rant step is used throughout, but there are those who could do fancy steps involving trebles. And step they used was learnt by Ian Thunmer of the group from Colin Armstrong of Anfield Clay. Second dance we'll see is a clock dance by Laurie Munner, a solo dance of four pipe steps learnt from Sammy Bell, a Northumbrian champion clock dancer of the 1930s. And then third dance, third of four dances, is the fifth figure of the Lancers quadrille, kitchen style with shuffles. This version developed by the group using details obtained by Jennifer Millest from Joan Fett. This dance was often the last dance of the evening of organised dances. Here are the Reading Cloggins.
close the first half of the programme this evening, a three reel from Lakeford, where set dancing was taught to children and classes. And the end of the series of classes was marked by a finishing ball, and this is a typical dance from just such an occasion. This version was researched by Ian and Ailsa Dummer, who are joined by Anne Marie Hugh. Great problem.